My name is Miguel Vasquez. I am 23 years old. Where I live, I've seen dramatic changes in, in, in the way that the, the housing has been in my area. But not also that, but the people and the, the years that have, have passed by, the technology ha that's been more advanced. And it, I've seen the growth in that, but there's a, a lack of growth in the, in the communities where we live in slums, in, 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 in some of the worst conditions here. So I was driven by the passion to, to know more about this. I've been doing music for about like five years now. And um, it's, it's pretty, it's progressing, but such as like all the bad activity that goes on in rap. I want to, I want to, I want to make a better impression on music for the community so everybody can understand what I go through in my daily life and what I'm trying to pursue in life. CD Tech was created in 1995 by Dr. Denise Fairchild, partnership with LA Trade Technical College received some small assets that were still remaining to build an organization that was going to provide education, training, and technical assistance around economic development conditions, uh, strategies, and uh, to address the low-income communities of Los Angeles and kind of continue the work that was still remaining, which we all know was a lot of work that was remaining after the 92 civil unrest in the health court program are um, between the ages of 17 and 21. Most of them, we have a couple adults, but um, I would say 95% of them are from the South Central area or South LA area. Yeah. And then within that, most of them are from the Vernon Central area, okay. um, which is where the program is located. Central Avenue was, um, it used to be a very vibrant, very loving community where the African Americans came together, even though the community was, even though the cities and states were um, segregated, they still came together to enjoy themselves. They had like jazz sessions, there was like different shops and it was easy access and it was just, it was better than, well, better than it was now. And so now you had a, a community of folks that was missing a tremendous uh, heart, the, the economic heartbeat of the area. Um, and so that resulted in many, many years of, this, of neglect. TechLink is there in that area specifically to infuse a little bit more of that support in community development. We wanted the program to focus on the built environment. We want the students to get exposed to, like for example, housing conditions in the area, uh, traffic, you know, um, uh, junk food. There's a lot of deep issues that affect the health. But you know, you can be eating healthy, you can be exercising, but if your housing conditions, if you have lead poisoning in the building, or if you have rats or bugs um, in your house, that it could affect your health. And there is an assignment that we had to do during health court where we went to the farmer's market, we, they gave us $10, we had to purchase, we had to purchase something healthy. Where did you learn to do My mom and my grandma. And it was quite interesting at how, like, all the students, they brought different things. Because I have a daughter, so I have to, like, every day I, I give her vegetables, she always eats fruits. And, like, now, like, I learned, like, it's, like, instead of going to buy some chips, you could go make, you know, buy some watermelon, some melon, mix them together in a simple, you know, fruit salad. When you guys hear the word community, what does that mean to you? Um, engage in discussion about the students also had to do an internship at a clinic or a local nonprofit organization that works on. I internshiped at St. John's Medical Hospital where I shadowed nurses and I also filed. It was quite interesting and I actually, I really, really enjoy doing that. Uh, we asked uh, the students, broke the class into different groups. Each group uh, needed to follow a framework the projects they want to be working on it's also needed to write a paper with this framework and support their presentation with visuals. She was explaining that um, I mean a lot of families are living like this. She was showing a lot of the problems in a typical building and so she showed that and then this display is about their ideal community. It's, it's been more of an education for me to, to, to become a, a better citizen of myself and tell someone else that, that's living in 
bad conditions hey you know this is why are the reasons why we are living the way we are and the changes that we can make so this has been a, a learning process for me to for me to be here